Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Last time, we were asked by the king to go find the Picori people to uh, rescue Princess Zelda from her stone form, and we found our little hat friend here who can talk to us. His name is Etzlo, and apparently he wants to stop Vati as well, the sorcerer who unleashed all that evil. So, let's get going. I'm gonna find another heart to refill my heart supply. Or a rupee, that's fine too. Let's see. Huh? It, it's a stump. Minish? Well, I know we're in the Minish Woods, but what are you talking about? Ah, I see. And uh, that building beside, I'm guessing that's that tiny village. How are we gonna do that? Yeah. A portal. I see. Alright. Alright, let's do it. Let me cut these down. So, we stand there, we all get all glowy, we press the R button, and Ezlo does a little song and dance. And woohoo, we are tiny now. Bounce off these mushrooms. Exit out the side. Aha! I love how the little thought bubble has the Link's head with the little minish cap guy on it. All different shapes and sizes, so they're not just stumps. Yeah, I, I bet so. Hmm. <laughs> Is that what you're worried about? Alright, alright, we'll protect you. So we are teeny tiny, that's the gimmick of this game. And, uh, we can't go up there because that water that we could just walk through before, it will kill us as a minish person. Well, not kill us, but it'll hurt us. And it could eventually kill us, potentially, if we do it enough times. Anyway, see if I can time this right. So, we need to ride on lily pad, and I almost missed it. This thing's move fast. We get off here. This looks to be the Minish Village. Ooh, nice. How does it avoid getting stepped on? I do not know. And look at all these giant things. We're so tiny. So tiny. And we are in the Minish Village. Hooray! Indeed we have. Hey, little guys, these are the Minish! Or the Picori, as we uh, Hylians like to call them. Pico Picori. Ripi Ripico Picori. They don't speak English. Not a word. How's that? Yeah, let's do that. So I could go around and explore, but first I want to, uh... We'll, we'll do that in a little bit. Since we can't understand anything everybody's saying, it'll be kind of useless. So we wander around, cut down some strawberries, or... I think they're strawberries. They don't do, they don't do much for us. Hmm. Anyway, what's this over here? Let's see. Aha, and we get another piece of heart, our second one. Only two more to get another heart. 
It looks like there's an area to the right over there, but uh, as you've seen before, Link cannot swim, so it doesn't look like we can get over there, and I'm not going to go over there for quite a long time. But uh, when we when I do, uh, you'll see why. Blue rupees are worth five rupees. Sometimes those will drop, but not as commonly as the green ones. Anyway, let's get up in this important looking place. Hello, sir. Ah, so you speak English. You're highly in or whatever language they speak here in Hyrule. Festari. Uh, that's quite a name you got there. Reminds me of a. Uh, every time I hear it, I think of Fester from the Adams family, but whatever. Yeah, it's been a problem. Oh, really? We should do that. Alright, yeah, that barrel house we saw before. We should be able to get through now. It was blocked before until we talked to that guy. But, um, now I'll see they're gone, so let's go in. Have anything good to say? Pico Riki Poco Tipo. Not really. Alright, so we go up here. Push this aside. Just press up against it and you push it. And we get this strange thing. We're gonna have to eat that. Yeah, we're gonna have to eat that. I, I try to make a habit of not eating things that have lips on them, but uh, I guess we don't have a choice now. Alright, let's see if it worked. Sweet! That I have. Elder, who's that? Well, I am an innocent child, and only innocent children can see you guys for some reason. Kinstone, what's that? Well, we won't find out for a bit. Aww, that's awesome. We need something like that in our world. Alright. So uh, let's talk to Mr. Pistari. First, let's talk to these guys. Oh, there's some minish in town as well. Ooh, that's awesome. Maybe we'll find some. So uh, we'll find these guys all over Hyrule. Yes, I did. Yes, I can. Alright, so we have to search out the Elder. Let us do so. Actually, I want to do some more exploring first. See what other Minish have to say. Why? Because I can. Well, not mine. These are... I'm kind of attached to these ones. Well, somebody mentioned them, but uh, we still don't really know what they are. Yeah, that's all because of Vati, who released all those monsters from that box. How about over here? Oh, you live in a pot. This is like a mansion in... Quarry terms, I guess, or minish, whatever you want to call yourselves. An expert smith. Master Midalaria. Oh, so, um, this uh, sword that only the uh, Picori can reforge has to be done by this uh, Picori smith named Midalari. Or you won't see him for a while, but uh, eventually. Once more, we're directed to go see the Elder. Let's see anything else? That, that's the way out. Um, 
so let's go up here. This is where the elder lives. Uh, you, unless you couldn't tell by his staff and long mustache. He is the elder. Yep, I sure do. So I've heard. Wait, did Eslo eat a jabbernut too, or is he just... Is he speaking Picori now we're able to understand him speaking it? I don't know. Let's not think about it too much. Yes, sir. The four elements. Those are important. In fact, if you look at that little thing behind him, it's showing a picture of the four elements. I never noticed that before. So the four objects we need to collect. Sweet. Ah, so... Three of them are in areas we haven't even visited yet. But will soon enough. Alright, so back to Fester Adams, or Festari, sorry. Those are some awesome glasses, dude. I wish I had a pair like that that sparkled and everything. But you don't need to adjust them so much. Seriously, it's a bit overkill. Oh, there we go. This is where we were before, that's where we got that piece of heart. And what do we have here? We have our first dungeon. Yeah, he did. <laughs> like you're any help. <laughs> I'll do a little bit of looking around before I end this off. Didn't expect to end this video so early, but uh, I want to uh, start my next video starting off this dungeon completely. Uh, so, um, we have this front room, we have these things that we can't seem to get through. Who made these webs? It's a little scary. And we have these, these here. Ooh, we can push this aside. So what awaits us further inside the Deep Wood Shrine? Well, you're just ha going to find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Thank you all for watching, and have a good day.